Hey everybody, my name is Lisa Wood and I am with Echo Consulting. We are a project management solutions firm and we help companies streamline their systems and maximize their ROI. We design and build solutions for clients using a variety of tools and Monday.com is one of our favorites. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a CRAID log in Monday.com. What is a CRAID log, you ask? Well, you may have heard of a RAID log, which is used in project management circles to track risks, actions, issues, and decisions for a project. That's what RAID stands for. Here at ECHO, we take it a step further. We add a C for change requests, thus making it a CRAID log. And a CRAID log is great for capturing things on the fly. So we use this tool internally as well as with all of our clients. So, for example, if we're in a meeting and there's an issue identified that, you know, is, is showing up in the project, it gets added to the CRAID log. If there are tasks that need to be assigned to someone on the team, they go in the CRAID log, et cetera, et cetera. It keeps everything in one place and is shared with everyone on the team so that we can all be on the same page. And so the project we'll be setting up a CRAID log for today is a staff party. And as you can imagine, there are a lot of moving parts involved in planning an event. So we'll capture these things in the CRAID log. So here's how I've set up the board. I've created a master list. It's just a big, long list. It's not that long, but it could get a lot longer. And the main column is like the thing, the CRAID item. We don't call them tasks because they're not all tasks. They're, they're um, you know, the risks, issues, decisions, etc and the actions. And so first column is the item. The second column is who it would be assigned to. So you could assign it to anybody on your team. You would add it to Monday to your board. And the third column is the CRAID item. And this is where you see action, risk, decision, issue, etc. This is a simple drop down. The status these are just the default Monday statuses. You could change these to be whatever you want. They're done working on it, stuck or not started. And I've just assigned some of these things here and we'll go over that in a minute. Um, you can set a due date. You can leave the due date blank if you like. Um, I highly recommend one person being assigned to each item and having a due date. You can set the priority. So critical, the project cannot be completed without this happening. High is it's really important, but it might not cause the project from stalling completely or reaching completion. It just won't be completed the way we want it to be. Medium is like, yeah, we want this to get done, but it's not critical. It's not high. And then low is like a nice to have, not a need to have. So that's how I've set this up. You can make your priority um, stages, whatever you like them to be adding a comments column. And then I just like to have a kind of a history of when it was updated and the creation, who created it and when. These are system generated columns, so they're not anything that I need to pay attention to. That data is just there if I want it. And I can even, I can even hide those columns if I want to. And so we've got these, it's just a quick brain dump that I did. We've got make the guest list, make the menu plan. Those are actions. Unpredictable weather is a risk. What if it rains and this is an outdoor party? We want to make a grocery list. That's an action. And the status is accordingly, right? So unpredictable, unpredictable weather is a risk. And I'm kind of stuck on that because I can't do anything about it. So I'm just leaving it there right now. I haven't started my grocery list because honestly, I don't want to think about it right now. Um, but I will get to it. Choosing a date is an action. It's already done. It's the first thing we had to do. It's critical to the success of this party. I would say that a grocery list is high. Um, unpredictable weather, I'm just gonna leave that there. The menu plan is pretty is pretty high, but then again, if we had a party and we had everybody bring their own food and make it a potluck, that wouldn't be the end of the world, so that's not critical. Long games, what do we want people to do when they're at this party? That's a decision, okay? It's not an action yet. Once we decide on the long games, then it becomes an action and then we would change it to action. So we're working on that decision. It's low because it's a nice to have, it's not a need to have, we don't need to have long games, we can do other stuff, but right now we'll set it at low. I might change that later. Uh, decide the time of day, that's a decision we decided, it's gonna be at two o'clock. What's the rain date? That was a decision, it's done. We decided the rain date would be the next day. 
conflicting playlist music is always this polarizing thing and we all need it we all love it but we don't always agree on what it should be so that's an issue that could also be a risk um a risk is something in the future that hasn't happened yet and an issue is some, something that's going on right now so right now we've got a bunch of people that have different music tastes and so that's a current issue it's not an issue we can't solve we can definitely make a really nice mix playlist and, and be good but we're stuck at the moment so we're going to revisit that and then we want to invite our guests that's an action hasn't started yet because we haven't made the guest list so we can't really do that yet and then the location was a decision we've done that and so as you can see this is like a kind of mixed up brain dump list right and so in monday i can drag these around so um, deciding on the date was really one of the first ones that we needed to do. Um, so I'm just going to say, because I like to have these in order, I'm going to choose a date, decide AM or PM, what's my rain date, right? Where are we having it? And then who do I want to be there? So, you know, you can uh, organize these however you like, but um, I just like to organize things that way. So that's something you can do if you want. And of course, there's a lot more things we could add to this. Um, but for now, this is what we've got. And so how this becomes really helpful. So we've got our create items here, right? I created a view in Monday. So by create item. And so you can see it's grouped. And so group is a feature that um, you should have in your account. I believe it might, I believe it's a paid feature, but um, you can, there's a workaround if you want to um, not use the group feature, but I'm using it here today. So I've grouped my create item. I've, I've had, I've selected it to show empty groups. The workaround would be to have, um, to have sections. So you would just make, like make your own group. So you would add a new group and you would have a group for each create item. And that works just fine. So I'm just going to delete that group because I don't need it for this. Um, but that would be your workaround if you don't have this feature. So you can see all my change requests are together. My risks are together. My actions are together. And it's a really nice way to just look at that and say, okay, um, what do I need to do here? And so the reason that I like to do it this way, if you have that group feature, because things change, right? So if a decision, this this decide morning or PM is, into the, is in the decision, um, that's already been done so that's not an issue but what if there was something that said okay decide on long games well we've done this right so it is now an action it's going to change up to move over to the action group here and i'm going to say i'm going to change this to set up long games now it's an action and we're going to change that to not started okay so that's how that can be nice and fluid Another view is by status. So again, this is a view that I set up. Um, it creates its own groups, done, working on it, stuck and not started. And those are created by the status column. So it just pulls that in and makes their own groups. You can do by due date. I don't find this as helpful personally because um, Monday sets up some things that, you know, you may love it. I personally don't, but today, tomorrow, next week, I can see how these can be helpful, but, um, or without a date, that's helpful because you can see oh, what are the things that I have not assigned a date to and go ahead and assign a date, right? By priority is helpful. Um, again, pulling from the priority column. So we've got critical. What are our critical things? Choose a date, choose a location. Those are, those are critical. Um, and again, this is not by create item. This is by priority. So you're going to have multiple create items in one priority level. And then you can also have it set up as Kanban board. So you can move things around. You could change. Uh, if this is no longer an action, it's become a decision. I mean, it's become an issue. So what if our date that we selected, half our guest list can't make it, that's an issue, right? And so that's how you set up a create log in monday.com. You can set up a similar, you can set up a create log in a number of different tools. Um, we like Monday. If you'd like to learn more, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and browse our library of videos on tools like Monday, Smartsheet, ClickUp, and more. 
Um, if you'd like to learn how Echo Consulting can help your company, visit our website at echoprojectmanagement.com and get in touch. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I hope you can use this tool with your uh, projects in the future.